Scary Face Spectre? It's not uncommon. It's cool, right? It's an interesting tech, but it's not uncommon. All right. Ooh, all right. Uh, this is strange. We're facing a Blacephalon team, but no coal. And there's also a Raikou here. I want to lead off Dragapult. I think I lead off Pult Colossal. I bring Celesteela in the back. My last Mon, uh, I could go Urshifu and it wouldn't be that bad. I think I do. I think I just go Urshifu here. Hoping Pokemon Originals can come back to North to NC. What's NC? So I can have my run back. Life Orb Blacephalon goes crazy. Dude, I, have you ever seen the Shell Bell Blacephalon? Where you, uh, you go for the Mind Blown and then you heal off most of what you just did? I think I saw one of those get, like, three Mind Blows off in one game. <laughs> And then, like, survive to keep hitting things. Shell Bell Steel Beam when? Okay, okay, okay. Um, in all honesty, I'm not really scared of this. I'm gonna make it my priority to deal with the... What if it's Scald Raikou? It's not Scald Raikou. There's no way it's Scald Raikou. It's probably just Snarl. Okay. So it you might think it's short-sighted to do this, but I'm actually going to go ahead and just Vocalith into the, um, the Grim Snarl. And the reason I want to do this is because once... What they're doing is they're just setting up screens so Landorus can come in. If I burn the Landorus and have already dealt with, like, you know, any speed control options, Lando just loses to Celesteela. So I'm hoping that's what's going to go on here. Hopefully it's not Scald Raikou. Underwave. Uh, okay, that's fine as long as I get rid of you this turn. As long as I get rid of that thing this turn, I'm fine with it. Okay. It should go down from this. And they didn't get any screens off, so I think I'm good. Alright, yeah, they go down at the end of the turn. They're going to get in their Landorus next turn. If I don't get paralyzed, my play is pretty obvious. I literally just go for a max guard with my, um, with my Colossal, and I go for a burn on the Lando. Thanks for the follow, Holly. Physical or special coal? Special. There he is. There he is. Okay. Okay. So, like I said, my play's pretty clear. I max guard and go for this damage. Or go for this burn. I really hope this works. If I get fully paralyzed, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. And I think I take a max airstream. I might. I'm a very physically defensive Dragapult. Well, not particularly physically. It's like 244, 12, pretty much. 244 HP, 12 defense. So if it's like Assault Vest Lando, I should take it. Okay, withdraw. Withdraw. 
Okay, Max. So I think what they were trying to do there is call a Vocalith into the Raikou. Hopefully I get this off. Please, please, please. Okay, come on. Connect. Oh, come on. No, that's, uh, that's the worst thing that could have happened there. The worst thing that could have happened there. Not the end of the world, though. What I can do instead... I still Will-O-Wisp here. I still Will-O-Wisp, I think. And I think I flare you. Imagine if there was an Intimidate, but for accuracy. Oh, that'd be the most toxic move. That'd be, like, the most toxic ability in the game. That's fine. The damage will still be a ton, you know? I don't mind losing the coal here as long as I get this. Pretty much if I burn, I'm good. I'm good to go if I burn. I almost went for Breaking Swipe, but I prefer the permanence of this. Come on, pull, pull through. Nice. Okay, don't be don't be lum. Please be assault vest. Okay, good. This is good. This is good. This is really good. You just go down. Now I get in you. I go for a protect and a breaking swipe. And then next turn I get in my Urshifu, and uh, I go for a close combat. Intimidate, but for speed, that would also be really busted. Because you just cycle to switch to like lower speed stats. I'm kind of hoping I lose the Dragapult this turn. It gets me uh, some good positioning with the Urshifu. So they have discharge, okay. Uh not the end of the world, but not great. They rock fall, that's good. That's good. What if there's scarf? That did like nothing. <laughs> that actually did nothing, that's funny. Okay. Uh my play here is just gonna be a meteor beam that that uh, Raikou. And I should probably take a Discharge now. I, I don't mean now, like it, you know, mattered. Oh, it's White Herb! Wow, I'm really glad I went for the Will-O-Wisp. Yeah. Breaking Swipe, Meteor Beam. How many turns of rocks are left? Maybe I don't Meteor Beam at all. They're going to rock slide, by the way. That was the last turn of Vocalift. Mm, I still Meteor Beam. I still Meteor Beam. Watch this thing be Specs. That might be. That might be spec. Oh, it was a crit. Okay. And he paralyzed me. Oh my god. Not like this. Don't. Not like this. I live both of those. Not like this. Come on. Alright. You better connect. You just gotta connect this and you win. Alright. 
We won. Cool. That was that was terrifying. The amount of paralysis turns that could have like ruined this game was terrifying. Animation show a Berserker scratching its beard. That's hilarious. I'm gonna surf because it's funny. Nice. Yeah, that was a frust- <laughs> that, that could have been very frustrating. It wasn't exactly frustrating, but it was uh, nerve-wracking. But they avoided the meteor beam that won me the game. Alright. Also, we're at 38 subscribers. Thing needs to update. <laughs> Uh, this is most definitely going to be a Colossal Plus Urshifu game, and there's not much they can do about it. What I might do, though, usually when you see uh, Whimsicott plus, plus freaking freaking Mamoswine, it's a Jack button, so we have to play around that. I'm going to go ahead and bring the... Rillaboom in the back. I think Celesteela. Give me a beard tier list. I will. We just need 12 more subscribers today, and then I will. Then I will do the beard tier list. I'll make it its own little stream. So like I said, most of these Whimsicots are... Most of these Whimsicots are that one item that does the thing. You know what I mean. Here, I'm going to go ahead and get in my Rillaboom. And... Detect. And then next turn, I can fake out. There was Washi. That was me on the L. Wasn't peeking, just came through. Now outplayed you. Yep. Outplayed me with the... Uh, I'm not actually mad to, about you, you know. I'm not. I'm not mad at you. Obviously, I know you're joking when you say you outplayed, um, and that was out of your control, anyways. You know, with the the three turn colossal freeze and the missing my meteor beam that won me the game. You know, those, those, yeah. Electro web. That's fine. So I am two hundred percent certain that the Focus Sash is not going to be on this Whimsicott. It's going to be a Jack Button. I hacked my Switch, so Ice Beam freezes 100%. That's funny. Aqua Jet. This is still going to do a lot. And you're a Jack Button. So get out. Oh, he's not! Okay. That's fine. That makes this game a lot easier. That actually really does make this game a lot easier. That means the Mammoth Swine probably showed up to this match. And the Mammoth Swine is going to be AV. Yeah, once this Dracovish is gone, this becomes pretty easy for the uh, for the Colossal, so I'll just get it in now. Does a ton. A moon blast. I actually think I can just double in on this thing now. I'm gonna max early. I'm actually not gonna activate my weakness policy here. 
because I'm fairly certain I can just do that. In your that Moxie questions, in your professional opinion, not a professional, uh, on a G Moltres team, you think Comfey should have Ally Switch or Helping Hand? I think that despite the fact that most Comfey run Ally Switch and Helping Hand, uh, protect. <laughs> I guess Helping Hand would be my answer, mainly because I think Ally Switch is a dumb move. Alright. They Helping Hand, they're probably just going to Helping Hand a Max Airstream. Max Darkness, okay. Yeah, no, I take that. And you go down. Maxed out your evasion, EVs. Dude, imagine if you could actually do that. That'd be kind of crazy. Alright, yeah. So after the rocks damage, they're in Grassy Glide range. Then I just go for a flare into the uh, Whimsicott. Ooh, the weakness policy. Ooh, yeah, I don't care. Go down. Yeah, that's that's glide range. That one's gone. They're in glide range. I glide. I flare. Wait a minute. Professional means you get paid to do something. Does this mean you're a professional gamer? Technically. Technically, and I've never wanted to not be more in my life. <laughs> now that you've said it that way, I've never wanted to not be a streamer more in my life. Nice tailwind. Doesn't matter, though. Correct me if I'm wrong, this is the last turn of Grassy Terrain, right? There might be one more. I'm not sure. I hope there's one more. It makes this a lot easier, but... Probably not. Yep. So my play here is pretty simple. I... Just switch out the Rillaboom. And then Rillaboom wins. There's their Draco. Gonna go ahead and... You know, surprisingly, I think I give them Celesteela. I can guard here. So Sash was on the Whimsicott, just judging by how the Whimsicott was played. Which means the Regieleki is probably like Magnet. Could even be Specs. They really doubled there. No, they didn't. Okay. Cool. Everything's within Glassy, bleh, glassy Glide. Everything's going to be within Grassy Glide range now. How many turns of Tailwinder left? Two turns? Yeah. 
Uh, I just go for the Air Slash here. And the Heat Wave. It's going to be game as soon as the Rillaboom comes back in. How's the tree? The tree's been fine. Got a couple, got a little bit unlucky in two of my games, but whatever. It's just the ladder. There goes Cole. How much did I take from that previous one? Am I above 50 health? I'm not, no. Probably a uh, choice band then. Since the sun's out, I want to say choice band. Get in Rillaboom, get in Urshifu. It's been a while since the last rat moment. How are they? They're doing good. They have a cage over there. They come out at night. I just don't let them out during the stream anymore because it's hard to watch them. <laughs> All right. There is one turn left in Tailwind. Not that it matters. I think I always just fake out here and detect. There we go. Hey, and Mirror VD, time for the good luck boost. Thank you so much. Thanks for the bits. Fake out. Probably you're going to KO here. Nice. Nice little 40 base power KO. They go for the T-Bolt. Good read. I want to say that's Specs. Just judging by the damage, I want to say that's Specs. So it should go down this turn. I believe that's the last turn of Sunlight, so Aqua Jet will be doing a good amount. No, not quite. It's fine, though. Uh, an Electroweb wouldn't KO me, so I'll just close combat here. I mean, uh, uh, Electroweb wouldn't KO the Rillaboom, so they'd have to Thunderbolt if they wanted to do that. So I should be able to close combat in case they decide to go for the Thunderbolt, is what I meant. Yeah. Game. So facing Ian, rank 4583. Let's see. Ooh, okay, interesting. Clefairy P2, or Clefairy PZ. No self-activating weakness policy on the Regirock, which is interesting. I should just be able to go coal here pretty much every time, and there isn't much they can do about it. Yeah, I can just lead off coal. Bring Cell of Steel in the back. And uh, Rillaboom is probably going to be my last one, yeah. Electwood Jet, best move. Exactly. Imagine if there was an electric type priority move. That would actually be... It's strange, because I always associate electric types with, like, fast. You know, it's pretty... Pretty common knowledge that electricity is, like, a fast thing. You know, you just associate the two. So why is there no electric type priority move? I thought Zing Zap was going to be a priority move when I saw the when I saw the move list leak in Gen 7. But no, it's just a regular move. There is. It's called Regieleki. Yeah. <laughs> Does Reggie Drago have bulldoze? No. Reggie Drago doesn't get like any moves. It gets a couple of dragon moves, a couple of fang moves, and like ancient power and hyper beam, and that's it. The once imperfect? What? Someone tell me, what does the once imperfect mean? What 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 mark is that? <laughs> There's a priority electric move. Zippy zap. Xbox Taurus, thanks for wishing me luck there.
They follow me. I don't know what they're going for here. Because they didn't Dynamax. Maybe they're hyper beaming my Colossal and hoping it does enough. Yep, just goes down. It could be TRing. I haven't seen TR Porygon D in a long time, though. Oh, yeah, they did. How much do I care? I don't know how much I care. Reggie Rock. Yeah, they're going to quake me here, so... Let me just do this. Yeah, that's my play. They're just going to quake me. Vac Does it get Vacuum Wave? Oh, I thought you were talking about Porygon Z. Yeah, no. Um, fighting type... Yeah, that is the only type to have a priority move for each type. Or for each um, category, I guess is how you would call them. Is Vacuum Wave a special? Mock Punch is physical. I would assume they just quake here. Yep. And hopefully I don't get knocked out by whatever this thing wants to go for. Dark Pulse, can I take it? Hey, we do take it. No flinch, please. Life Orb, too. And we connect. That's awesome. Yeah, so Regirock's burned. They're usually weakness policies, so they shouldn't be taking... They shouldn't be doing too much damage as long as I don't activate it for them. And here, I can literally just go into Celesteela on the next Quake. I think I just give him the Dragapult now. Might as well Breaking Swipe, even though it doesn't matter. Bulky Pult, best Pult. I have denied them every max move. <laughs> they only get to click one move and it's max rockfall and it's not gonna do much. All right, cool. Let me get in my Colossal now that I'm slower. Am I slower than this Regirock? Probably not. I guess I go Rillaboom. And what I can do is fake out and go for the um, Meteor Beam into the Porygon Z. The Meteor Beam will get me plus two if I KO with it. And fake out's definitely not KOing this thing unless I crit. Yeah, they just forfeit. Awesome. Awesome. Dude, Pult goes crazy. I keep telling you guys, Pult's the MVP of the team. It isn't Zergatry, it isn't it isn't the uh, Colossal. Always gonna be Pult. Gotta do my daily reminder. Guys, if we hit the 50 subscribers by the end of the stream, then I will be doing a Pokemon Beard tier list. It'll be its own little stream. I'll make it into a video. It'll be a fun little upload. Um, yeah, I'll make it into a video if you want. Like, I'll just edit it together. Uh, but also, if we hit 50 subscribers, I am doing, not by the end of the day, but by- Oh, we're facing Aaron! <laughs> I like how I just had to introduce, I had to, I had to interrupt myself and be like, Oh, we're facing Aaron! <laughs> Alright guys, I have to not embarrass myself versus Aaron. I can't embarrass myself versus Aaron. Uh, let me see. So, Luxray... On Rain. I feel somewhat comfortable. 
going Zerk on lead. I think Zerk Rillaboom's good. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll bring the Celesteela as well. I don't necessarily feel good about bringing Colossal. Because we're facing a rain team. I could probably justify Dragapult. Hmm. Maybe. I think we just go Urshifu. Let's do that. All right. So last time I faced Aaron, he absolutely beat me down. This was during WBE. And I'm absolutely trash at Draft League. So, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, I was the one he, who he swept with, um, Crit on Pheasant. Honestly, the Zergatry is really threatening to him. If we just look at his team, we hit most of his team for super effective damage. And if he lets me get a Calm Mind off, that'll make it a lot easier. Alright. So I think here I feel pretty comfortable going for the... I think I call mine here. I definitely think I call mine. Imagine after the battle he joins the chat and says GG. Ooh! <laughs> yeah, I don't know if he would stay in here versus the Zerkatry. I'm gonna call mine up. And I wanna keep Rillaboom healthy. I can honestly care less about the Urshifu. I wanna make sure Rillaboom's around for beating the, uh, the rain in the back. So in case he does Dynamax, I'd like to double out here. I'd like to switch out. Two withdraws. Hopefully he doesn't Dynamax. This would make this a lot easier. Hurricane. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Get this Calm Mind off. Now we gotta start clicking buttons. Now we have to start clicking buttons. I think here, uh, it's in my best interest to take the Moltres from him. It makes Rillaboom a lot safer. We'll max. And I'll also... I think I just double into that slot in case he switches out, it'll be good damage. I can take the Lux Ray then. Okay, yeah, I'm taking that Lux Ray. Give me your Lux Ray. You have lost your Lux Ray privileges. As long as I don't hit myself, he's lost his Lux Ray privileges. Don't hit yourself. I need you, Urshifu, right now. I need you. All right. <laughs> Luxury privileges revoked. Okay, yeah. Bulky. So I should be KOing this. Now, I am at plus one special defense, so I should take a hit pretty well from the Kingdra that comes in. 
Oh no. <laughs> that might matter. I hope not. I hope it doesn't matter. <laughs> that's Kingdra. Yeah, that's Kingdra. Kingdra goes down to a lightning or a starfall. My best interest to lightning though. And I'll go ahead and get in the Rillaboom. He's gonna helping hand this. But I really hope I live it. I probably should have just starfalled, all things considered. Come on, Zerk, eat. Ah, no, we don't eat. How do I do this? I could get in Celesteela here and try to pressure him. Because if I were him, I would Hurricane. Or I would max Airstream the Rillaboom. So I'll hand over Urshifu. And then maybe he'll be in range of a Grassy Glide. Yeah, I should have just max guarded there and gotten in the Urshifu to scare him. Because then I could have Wood Hammered. I could have played that better, yeah. I geyser. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think I could have played that a lot better just by going for a Protect with my Zerkatry and getting in the, uh, the Rillaboom to pressure him a bit. I'm going to have to forfeit there. There's no way I win. Dang, yeah. I definitely misplayed there. It's a good game to Aaron. Basically, if I protected, Zerkatry wouldn't have taken any damage there. Rillaboom would have gotten in for free. And then from there, Aaron would have been forced to once again target the Zerkatry while I uh, went for a Wood Hammer, which I could then follow up with a Grassy Glide to KO, I would assume. <laughs> 